All right, guys, so today we're in Carnesville, Georgia, at the Petro, and the winner of the Flexmate by Grippy Matt is Corey Suttles. And it's cool enough that Corey let us come and is going to show us where he works. And we're going to get to take a look at some of Corey's boxes. So, you guys stick around. This one will be pretty interesting. All right, guys, we're here in Carnesville, Georgia. This is Corey Suttles. He was the winner of the Grippy Flex Mate. He works at the Petro Truck Shop, so we're gonna talk to Corey, um, and he's gonna let us take a look at some of his boxes. He's got some really cool Matco boxes, a lot of great tools. So, first of all, how long have you worked here? A little over two years. Two. Uh, end of December 2017. How long have you been turning wrenches? Well, from like 2010 up until. 17, I mainly just did tires and stuff like that, and then when I came here is when I started playing wrenches. I decided it's what I want to do for a career. Cool. You got a nice shot, and uh, let me grab the camera and we'll show you boxing off and take a look at it, okay? Sounds good. Alright. Alright, so you got a Matco 6S wrap fan box. Yes, sir. You get over here and you see it. It's a really cool oh. box. And uh, you missed a off this, right? Yeah, I've had it for. A little over a month and a half, two months, something like that. I've got a decent amount in this one. The card itself is what's actually jam packed. This one just takes the overflow, as you can see. I got all half inch Matco sockets in here. I think it's cool more that way. All half inch assortment of anything from Pittsburgh to Snap on on this end. And this is all half inch wobbles and Allen's. And then back here is just 3 8 chromes that never get used to that. For impact sockets, 100%. I always use impacts. Metric half inch impacts, and then nothing but three quarter over here, and a couple of one inch drives for our bigger gun. And then three quarter drive ratchet, and three quarter drive breaker bar runs all the way full width. That's a lot of weight in that drawer. Bless it's hard, it holds it too. <laughs> now, the rest of this box is pretty empty, it's just got assortment. I got these yesterday off the Matco truck. I ordered them about a month and a half ago, and like a little kid on Christmas, they finally arrived. There you go. It goes from quarter inch to inch and a quarter without skipping. And then that's Tecton. I don't know if you like Tecton or not, but that goes up to 22 from 6 millimeter. It never gets used. And like I said, this is the overflow. It's crap in it. And you got a Cornwell pass-through socket set, which I like pretty good because it's gearless. I got the same one. I love, for 105 bucks, you couldn't beat it. Right. At least I thought. Wheel stud installer, snap ring pliers, and then broken stud extractor, and then some Mac screwdrivers that get used as pry bars and chisels and everything else. And then what I call the Landstar trailer tail light drawer, because that's all I use this drawer for, is taking out their tail lights. Yeah. That's a great hammer, too. Yeah, until you go to swinging it and miss. And that <laughs> yeah. one weighs 56 ounces. It hurts a little more than the rest of them. But I like it okay. I ordered it off of Amazon. It's held up pretty good for taking drums off and stuff too. And then the electrical mess drawer. I bought this yesterday as well for putting tail lights back in. And then that's probably the best battery tester I've ever used. Makes my job a whole lot easier. I'm done in about five minutes. It's always good to have a good battery tester. I like it a lot. And then I can't, yeah, there's another hammer. Bought That's that. A new one too. Yeah, it is. I think it hits hard too. I had the Mac and I bought it and it came with all these. came with these five and it came with two of them that are about this long and then the uh, pickle forks is what it came with. And it didn't hit as hard as I thought it should. So I traded it in. He gave me a little bit more than he probably should have towards like this the one. Way but they have that collar. Yes, my hand those. don't get numb. And then I got in a situation a couple weeks ago, so I called my Cornwell dealer and got me some screw extractors. And then there's that master rethread kit. I love this thing. Especially on doing airbags and rethreading them bolts that go up through the bottom of it. Yeah. We never have any in stock. I couldn't imagine why. And then junk drawer, heat gun, extra sockets, snap-on wipes, tire dolly. Yeah. Got to keep it down there, keep people from messing stuff up. And then road call drawer is what this is. Everything I need for road calls. That's got a full set of wrenches from quarter inch to an inch. Screwdrivers, flashlights, breaker bar, everything. 
and then extra hoses like 50 foot hose for making extensions all that good stuff and then extra gloves and then my favorite door power door I love this drawer. This makes life lot of so much. Too, this life. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the Capri light. I do. I love that thing. I do too. That's one of my favorite lights. Cornwell dealer gave me an offer on this one. It's just like the Matco one they had. Right. He made me an offer on this one I couldn't refuse. And it's a nice little light. But if you ain't careful, it falls off. It ain't got that strong of a magnet to it. So this little booger's bright. 700 something lumens and those are the snap-ons that are real bright. Yeah, I think those are six or 650 there. Something like that. I don't I don't use them that often because the battery dies too quick for me. Yeah. But those, that one lasts longer than these do. Yep. I'll give it that. And then that one is for when I'm doing DOT inspections. That's my baby. The carts were all my money. That's a nice, nice box. Without a doubt. And uh, your cart matches. Yeah. And uh, it looks like it's full too. It's a little more full than the box is. I got more money in this cart than I probably do that whole box. Bless my heart. <laughs> so I bought this after I seen you and Bill get them. Yep. And I couldn't resist because it has the magnets on both sides. I figured if I go on the road call, Just twist and lock, that's yep. it. But it's heavy. Yeah. It's a lot heavier than I anticipated. Then I bought these. Yep. Love these. I love those too. I got a junky one right there that gets used randomly. Not that I ever keep up the date, but there's calendar. <laughs> Top drawer. Mostly Matco ratchets because I love their handles. There's a few icon things here and there and there, a few snap on, but Matco's new color ratchet or new handle ratchets they came out with. Finally got me one of those. And then I don't use these very often, but they get you out some tight spots. Yeah. Those wobble pluses. You got the extra deep set. I got these from Mac. Those are those RBRT bits. And man, do they work. You got the Torx and then you got the Hex. Right. And man, do they bite. It don't matter if it's fully rounded out torch or fully rounded out hex heads. Yeah, It'll pull it, it out every time. And I, have had, I have yet to have it not work. This drawer is nothing but doing oil changes. You got your box sockets. And then I've seen y'all grab these or look at them. Those little 36 millimeter and 32 millimeter. We're doing pack cars and D15s. But I've had those for a long time. I got them for a while. I actually use a... I've got a gear wrench ratchet wrench that I use on the pet cars. It's easier for me to use a ratchet wrench. Kind of on the stuff. oil filter houses and stuff? I ain't thought about getting an inch and a quarter ratchet and wrench. That would work though. It gets you in there without having to hit as much. And then the money drawer, per se. That's all snap on. That's all snap on. And then those are those Matco double box ends. Those are nice wrenches. Very right? nice. Very nice. They don't get used as often as I'd like for them to, but. Well, how do you like the uh, toolbox widgets? I love the toolbox widgets. I got the when the first set came out. When they first, first came out with them, that's when I got mine. And then I got these out of that uh, tool heads crate box. Well, I've looked at them, but I had to pull the trigger. Man, I love them. They got them for bigger inches, which these ain't it. This drawer is deep enough. I can run these like right. normal. Let me see if one of these are it. Yeah, there's your deeper ones right there. It's got a little bit more. And then you got an even deeper one right there. Yeah. But I used them. For a long time before I got all these wrenches to put in here, I used them for screwdrivers and extensions, obviously. So that's what they work best for, in my opinion. And then the junk slash pick slash That's a lot of money in that drawer, too. A lot of Nipex. <laughs> yeah. I love Nipex pliers, man. I despise snap-on pliers, even though I got a few of them. I despise them, but I love these. I like the snap-on snap ring pliers, but after I started using Nipex, I was done with every other pliers. Those Matco snap ring pliers I got, I don't care for them. I ain't gonna lie on that. I think they're a little, a little junky, so I'll end up upgrading them. But these right here are probably the best pinch-off pliers I've ever used in my life. One of those blunt ones? Yeah. Yeah. The angle ones. Yeah. The harder you squeeze, the harder they squeeze. Sometimes it takes you and a buddy to get them loose, too. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. You ain't got no coolant going anywhere. Another money drawer too. Yeah. Well, how do you like the cut I off? don't. You don't like I it? I don't like it at all. It is absolute junk. You're the first person. I hate that. that thing. It it has no no get up and go. It don't cut through anything at all. If you work with it and just go back and forth, let it keep eating where it goes, yeah. like in a little line, it'll cut. But I just stick to my air one. Yeah. Sadly That's enough, it's the Harbor Freight and it outdoes it. I see you got the stick boots. I couldn't Those say awesome I couldn't say no to these. They cut through metal like butter. Yeah. I used them yesterday. I got the smaller set just for the simple fact that I had 
this set, which also cuts through metal like butter, but they're not stepped. So I just opted out for the smaller set on that. But I love them. Yeah, you don't have to tap it or hit it with a hammer or anything like that, a little center punch. It just goes right well, into the work. you don't have any snap on battery tools. Of course not. I like real tools. <laughs> I like battery tools that are going to last. Now, I can't lie, I did have a little 3 8 gun, the 14 4. I had it for a while. And then when I got this one, I sold it to my little cousin so he can have something. So. But well, I ain't looked back. I've got the stubby and the full size and the walking. Yeah. But I always go back to the That 14-4, that trigger, that trigger is what I like. If you get, you get the fuels with that trigger, you'd have you'd have something there. I don't like the ratchet. I don't like this. I'm, I was supposed to say, I'm afraid well, this is going to get caught. Secret. You can knock that roll pin out right there. And then use the light and snap on one. Just use the button. I'll have to do that then. And then I've seen... Talk, that. Sounds like something he'd do. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen all y'all bought these. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'll trade my PTA 50 in and see if I like it. I like it. You like it better? Way better. PTA 50... Didn't quite break away lug nuts on these big rigs like I thought it should, which is a half inch. It probably shouldn't do it anyways. But if you're in a tight spot, that does the trick every time. That's a badass little gun right there. Yes, it is. You need to look <laughs> at the little stubby. Oh, you talking about the one that you got the little half inch stubby y'all got? Well, was it, like 750 foot pounds? That'd be good for doing airbags. This guy is the hammer. Yeah. I did. It's a thousand foot pounds. With that little itty bitty gun? I didn't pay attention to the foot pounds, but I seen a video where it was pulling them off of there. It looked like it wasn't even, struggling. Don't even have this That's not even the stubby. And as small it's, as it is. What about Yay Big? Yeah, it's about the same size as his It's a bad little dude. I'll have to look into Capri. They got a lot of good tools. I love their tools, actually. They got a lot of good stuff. Which, here lately, I've been going to Cornwell some, too. I can't say no to the other blue company. Especially since my neighbor's a cornwall dealer. <laughs> and then the real junk drawer. Everybody's gonna have one of those. Knee pad. You make all the jokes you want to for that. And then and the torch. A good set of knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> these are really good. I don't know if you've seen these on Instagram or not. Those yeah. iron line. They're they're full latex, which I don't really care for so much, but they outlast those. These don't rip nearly as fast as those do. I've been using those Tiger, uh, Tiger grip or whatever. You Get off the snap-on like truck. Ones. Yeah, I'll have to try them out. I know I've seen them. I've seen them on the Matco truck and the snap-on truck. I'll have to give them a shot. I mean, I love love them. I'm a love board. I can't say no. These anti vibes are probably some of the best hammers I own, though. Is that man? Yeah. Well, Proto makes a board back, obviously, but yeah. I mean, it's. You got a thin shaft on there and it don't vibrate, it don't hurt your hands, nothing when you smack a drum with it. Right. Just gets the job done. But yeah. It's a well, lot of stuff. The, what was the first tool you bought off a of tool truck? First snap on tool I ever bought? No, the first tool. What a snap on or that or whatever. Oh, what was God. It's a hard one to think about. I don't have it no more, but I know exactly what it was. It's a snap on ratchet. It was a little tiny, little 3 8 ratchet, a little lock and flex head. The second thing I bought was a 25 inch for doing drain plugs. Yeah. I got tired of struggling. I think that was like my second real expensive ratchet that I bought I had for much I got a bunch of snap on ratchets. They're all at the house though. I traded them out for these Matcos just to see how they ran, just to see if I liked them better, and I do. So, what is your, uh, what's your primary job that you do here? Everything. Everything from changing oil, changing brakes. Airbags. We don't do we don't do in frames. We don't do stuff like that. We don't go that in depth. But anything within what corporate lets us do is what we can knock out. I try not to. That's not my strong suit. I suck at it. I can't lie. I suck at. It. I got a lot of electrical stuff to try to do it, but I end up having to usually get somebody to. If I can't figure it out to help me out a little bit, but that is not my strong suit. I'm, I would be what you consider heavy line. <laughs> Now, if you want me to show you how to hook the laptop up and read codes and do force regions, I'm your man. But finding the short, <laughs> not happening. All right, guys. So one of the cool things that Corey's got here at his shop is one of his co-workers. It's an old snap-on box that belonged to his grandfather. And uh, we'll get Corey to kind of tell you about this a little bit.
Clearly, I don't have the keys to it, or I'd show you some of the older tools, but he also has tools from his grandpa inside of here from the early 1960s. And as you can see, it's held up all these years, so if that ain't a testament to sampling tools, I don't know what is. So it's got a torque wrench in there that still works? It still works. Well, the needle on it's bent, but if you know what you're looking at, you can actually get it to do right. But it's just bent just a little bit. But he has sockets from the 60s. He has all kinds of stuff in there. It's a, it's a nice box, man. It really is. It opens up down here to a nice cabinet and then yep. a little tiny drawer. And then you flip this up and there's a bunch of drawers and a little cubby area up top. Well, that is cool right there. Yeah. Sadly, Ross left here with today. But we can get in there and show you. But that is amazing right there. It's still the original paint. Nothing's ever been done to it, obviously. I try to talk him out of it all the time. But uh, <laughs> I don't think he's going to come up off of it anytime soon. I don't soon. Like either, that's, you're not going to replace that one. No. I would like to take it redo it and, you know, get it back to a nice red Gee, showroom. I'd wipe it down with a tub of tail and enjoy it. <laughs> That'd be in my living room. It's, it's nice. I like it. That's a cool feature and hopefully we'll get to do some more of these videos and show you guys some pretty cool stuff like that that you won't see every day. So, uh, we're thinking about expanding the channel a little bit and uh, I like to go on road trips. Shy Shy, she's, she's okay with road trips, but she's not as much as I am, but uh, I really appreciate you letting us come out, and, and I'm thinking about doing some stuff. Maybe if some of you guys would like to uh, let us come out to your shop, we'll meet you. We'll look around, kind of like what we did here with Corey today. We're looking at doing that in the future, and who knows? So I, I think it'd be fun. You know, I, I like meeting people. I know I talk to you, read a lot of the comments, and you know it worked out great. You won the flex mate, and here we are. So I definitely appreciate you coming out. Yeah, man, I'm glad you came. Like always, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Check the links down in the description. We got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. Check out Corey, if you will. Leave a comment. I'll send you a link. Corey, post it. And we'll, put it we'll, post, we'll pin it at the top. And that way you guys can meet Corey. He's on Instagram, cskittles69, right? That's it. All right, guys. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. That way you can get in on some of these giveaways because we're planning on doing a lot of them here in the future. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. Don't cost you guys. We're going to hang out with Corey. We're going to find something good to eat, something cold to drink, and have a little fun. So, you guys, we'll catch you next time.